Hey, let's dive into the first topic of the day. And it is a journalism debate, and I cannot wait to hear what everybody has to say about this one. So CNN host Chris Cuomo, he is now on the record saying, well, he obviously cannot talk about and cover the sexual harassment allegations against his brother. His brother's who, you say? Remember this guy, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. And Chris is now saying he's recusing himself from covering this topic on his show. Right or wrong, ladies? I mean, it's so noble of him to recuse himself now that his brother is being widely <laughs> accused of sexual harassment. He didn't recuse himself when he was talking his brother up for the entire pandemic. But now... But there's a photo of his brother grabbing the face of an unknown woman at a wedding, you know, and the woman's like, looks like this. Now he can recuse himself. I think, he, like, in a way, I feel like the fact that they have the last name, the same last name, and they're obviously brothers, is kind of more honest than a lot of media, because we like to pretend that the media is unbiased, but people cannot be unbiased. People can never be objective. The media is always subjective. So at least here, the subjectivity is kind of on the table. Like, his bias is quite apparent and always has been. But Nicole, I have to say... I had the exact same... Sp I had the exact same thought. Like, two brothers speaking with each other is actually reflecting refreshing because the, here's a case where the conflict of interest isn't being hidden from us. Their relationship is in plain sight. And like you, I thought like there are probably tons of instances where a relationship between a broadcaster or media outlet and the people they are speaking about or to is hidden from us. You know what I mean? Like maybe a host has stocks in big oil and so they go soft on an environmental story, or maybe I've watched too much succession or the morning show, but in any case, <laughs> I have to say, you know, what's so true about a brother interviewing a brother? I want the brother dirt. I want to know, you yeah. know, whose who's nudie mags did mom find first? That's what I want them to talk about. I don't care what you think about it. <laughs> you want to know the backstory. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I guess the one thing that bothers me the most about this is, as you both alluded to, he was real fine. Chris was yeah. really fine, bigging up his brother and even comparing him to the job, the poor job that Trump was doing at the time, leading the country through COVID in the earliest days and how great his brother was with like his cape and, you know, like, you know, like a superhero saving New York. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that he actually started this past Monday show with this quote, this is what bothered me. And he said, obviously, Obviously, I'm aware of what's going on with my brother, and obviously, I cannot cover it because he is my brother. Oh. Now, of course, CNN has to cover it. They have covered it extensively, and they will continue to do so. I have always cared very deeply about these issues, and I profoundly and profoundly so. I just wanted to tell you that there's a lot of news going on that matters, also. So let's get after that. So that is where. CNN has shown its hand. We've all known that you're, I like you said, Nicole, know. it's like the Fox has been very clearly sort of the right-leaning network in the States. CNN has been very much the left-leaning. But CNN also has people who do commentary, not news. That is Anderson Cooper, Don Lemon, Aaron Burnett, Chris Cuomo. Those are not news shows, people. They are well, commentary exactly. shows. There's a difference. Exactly. That's the thing. Like, how could it? I mean, the thing is, is that you can't. Ch do you think anyone should choose their job based on a relative and what they may or may not do? I'll leave that there for one second while I go to Susan on Facebook, who says <laughs> Chris Cuomo is not there to report the news. Mel, like you just said, he's there to express his opinion. People often get the two confused, which is not surprising since it's broadcast on a news channel. There are plenty of stories he doesn't comment on. Not commenting on a story involving his brother is probably the appropriate thing to do. And Susan, thank you for mentioning that because people also get confused about that fact with our show. We are an opinion-based yeah. show. We aren't even remotely the news. So people get confused. I just think like, what was he supposed to do? We were stoking these fires as well. There was the whole trending thing of the Cuomo sexual. So they want ratings. They're in the business of getting ratings. The idea that this governor was going through this coronavirus crisis and that another brother got the coronavirus. Of course, it was like life interfering with the news, interfering with commentary. So I don't know that they could have predicted this and I don't think it's wrong for him to be sitting out now it is what it is Cynthia I'm still yeah, stuck yeah. on the fact that you just said we're we're an opinion show not news so what you're telling me is I'm not Walter Cronkite that's correct <laughs> Holy correct just smokes I gotta rethink everything <laughs> all the books come down just pull Sorry, Diane down. Sawyer. yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> but I think that 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 does speak to media literacy I I actually don't know how many people can honestly be like, oh, 
Chris Cuomo show is not supposed to be a news show. And it's interesting that Chris actually said CNN is covering it, but I'm not. Like, there's a very clear distinction there. And I hope that people look at this and realize what are they actually watching. I think this is a great lesson, a media and journalism lesson for all of us. 